put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See those superstars. Hollywood to Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they hollering, baby. A key modeling, baby. ATLD. I put the spotlight on your city. Carolina Field. Congratulations on the whole turnaround situation. For those who don't know the story, let's talk about it a little bit. Make it quick. Who exactly is Tony Suggs? Um, Tony Suggs is a guy now, today, is a guy that care about people, care about the community, and wouldn't want to see any young boy or girl go through the things I went through in life. So I do everything I can do to try and, you know, stir them down the right path so they can make healthier decisions and choices in life. Right. And so for those who don't know, Tony... Um, is a world class fighter. Tony has fought with some of the best. You know, you want to talk about some of the people that you fought. I heard you. Uh, they told you to take it easy on Sugar Ray. Yeah. <laughs> on yeah. Sugar Ray, <laughs> so you won't hurt the the young man. But you was one of his spawn partners at one time, yeah, right? Yeah, I was Sugar Ray Leonard's spawn partner for his last fight when he fought Hector Camacho. You know, <laughs> um, had a lot of fun. I didn't get I get to do a lot of spawn with Sugar Ray because. Um, I was hit, I was banging them, you know. And, uh, <laughs> they told me they, they told pulled, you take it easy. They pulled and you know he ain't want no smoke. Ain't want they said, if, no "Look, peace. this is the champ. If you keep on banging on the champ like this, we're gonna have to send you home." Yeah. But Ray lacks bomb, which be I, because I was a sit down type fighter. I was in front of him, easy for him to hit, and um, you know, they told me if if I don't lighten it up, they're gonna have to send me home. But look, we're going to give you $300 more dollars. Yeah, but we're going to add three more hundred dollars on your check. And if Ray asks you how he look, say good. I said, I can do that. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, so that's that. Hey, so but at the end of the day, though, they got to protect their pride. That's yeah, their yeah, prize at the time. So they had to protect their pride. Can't, can't, no, you can't go beating up on the champ. No, no you, you can't, can't do it. You got you to do gotta, anything you, you can do. Better it will with somebody that will, challenges you. Yeah, but he can't he can't put the but press on him yeah, because you can't. ultimately he can't show his full skill back to him. But anyway, um what what they don't know is you you had some other issues in your life. We're gonna make it quick because we have three other guests, so sorry I can't go all the way into it. But you had a bout with drug addiction after yes. um actually while you were in, in the midst of your big time journey on this boxing yeah. journey, right? You was right yeah. in the midst of it. And um, not only did you have big fights in the ring, but your biggest fight became the drug addiction itself. Yes. So we're very proud. I don't say that to put you to shame or nothing. I say that no, because no. I see that you've overcome it. That's your story. And that's yeah. your story. So we're proud of it. So that's why I mentioned it. And yeah, I'm happy to me. see that you've overcome that. So let's talk about the afterlife now. Tony Suggs, outside of the ring, you have a documentary that you're promoting Tomorrow. Yeah, um, actually, it's tomorrow. Yeah, um, the documentary been out almost a year, not quite a year yet. In June, it'll be a year. But um, I just been using the documentary as a tool, you know, to go around mm -hmm. and help me spread my message that right. I'm trying to spread. You know, um, like I said, to help young kids out, help not only young kids but adults as well. You know, right. my story is so broad. You know, it just yep. don't single into one lane, you know, it's helping if you've been abused, uh, right. sexually, physically, um, it, if you had learning disabilities in school, if, I mean, you know, whatever, yeah. physical abuse or, um, you know, um, it just, it just targets so many things in my book and in, 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 in my documentary. Right. So you, you know, also have a book, um, titled the beast within still the champ. Yeah, because I had it mixed up. I, I titled the doc, and the documentary is titled "Out of the Ring, Still in the Fight." Out of the ring, still in. And the that's fight. a hell of a title. Out of the, out of the ring, ring, still in the fight. And so, you, go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. No, go let ahead. me ask you this, Tony. Back in the day, when and things just started.
are spiraling out of control. Did you ever think that you would be a community activist? Because I know you speak at the jail, you speak at mm -hmm. all the churches, you speak in, in the community. You are a community activist. Like, yeah. And when yeah. people first started calling me that, I'm like, I didn't even you, know what a community you. activist was. <laughs> I'm like, but that's you. Answer, that's like, you. What, what is a community activist? Because somebody just called me that. Yeah. But, um, that's you who know, you are. Yeah. I know that's I never are. thought in a million years I'd be right. doing this, you know, but... Um, because I was always wondering in high school, God, what is my calling? I need to trade or mm -hmm. something. I'm getting ready to get out of high school. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Right. You know, and they and I always heard the thing, don't put all your eggs in one basket. In, in one basket. But boxing was all I oh, knew. Yeah. Right. Uh, boxing was all mm -hmm. I, I was good at. Boxing, the only thing that, dad taught you that I wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and, you know, and then after my daughter passed while I was, you know, number one box in the country, the man to beat for the 1988 Olympics. Mm -hmm. You know, um, wow. while I was at the Olympic training center, I'm like, God, you already know what I've been through as a child. You know, um, why me? You know, yeah. and... Um, so she passed away in the midst of... Yeah, I was at... I, I had went to... I had just won the gold medal in the Olympic Festival the week before, mm -hmm. in which they shipped me to Colorado Springs Olympic Training Center to have a rubber match against a guy I just beat to, so that will select the person that's going to rep represent the United States in the 88 Olympics. And my okay. daughter, my daughter died. I got there that night. My daughter died in the wee hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. Then you know. How old was she, if your mommy asked? Seven asking? months. Seven Ooh, months wow. old. Yeah. Wow. And so yeah, wow. But you know, sometimes wow. your, what you go through is not for you. And it's for I'm, all these kids that you touch right now. Because I right. see mm -hmm. you touch them. Sometimes, yeah. you know, because me and you talk, and sometimes you're like, man, I still got these people that know me from back then that keep wanting to throw stuff up. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh, this, this it might not be for you. You touch so many people, and you don't even realize that sometimes God put us through certain things. Yeah, that's because right. Because he need to use us to help others. Because if you ain't been through it, how are you going to help them? Yeah. Right. And, and I know. agree because I was the type of guy, when I was going through all my counseling, therapy, and treatment, I didn't want no counselor that hadn't been through mm -hmm. stuff. Exactly. Yeah, I didn't want no go. counselor that that wasn't on drugs because you. I needed to know why. When they moved me down to Fredericksburg to keep me out of Alexandria because I was mm -hmm. you know, getting high and stuff so I could make the Olympics, why was I jogging five miles one way to get drugs and jog all the way back home so I was <laughs> to say I ain't going to use it no more? And um, just to, after I use it, get the geeking and jog back up there, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, so drugs had a power, a mm -hmm. powerful grip on me, and I wanted to understand and know why, you know? Exactly. And so this is what is going to premiere tomorrow. In Alexandria, yeah. it's a story of this young man's life. It's a powerful story. Very I've seen it. Story. I'm gonna go tomorrow actually and see it again. It's yeah. seven seven p.m. at uh Charles Houston. Charles Rex. Houston. Rex. Right Charles there. Houston. Right. And so he also has a book. Street. And we have to cut it a little short. I'm sorry, Tony, but because we had so much difficulty, we ran out of time because we gotta get on. But I will have you back on. I definitely wanted you to be able to let. Seven to nine at Charles also, Houston Recreation in Alexandria, Virginia. But also, I'm giving away. I've raised sponsorship from some people in the community, mm -hmm. and um, I'm giving away 50 books. Okay. Love it. Love it. Love it. So how can they, do they have to enter a contest, or do they have to go to a they, website, or email you, or how do they get the, the books? The people that come to the event tomorrow, okay. that's how they get them. Got you. So and when you come up. Oh, you just got to show no. up. So it's yeah. free? Yeah, it's oh, a free, free event. Free ninety nine. And we feed please you. come out, and nice. you can get some food, and it's gonna be a hell of an event. But when yeah. I tell you his story is amazing, I've already watched the documentary, but I will be back to watch the yeah, documentary, and I also have support. the book. So make sure you come out and support. It's free, so it doesn't cost nothing but time, and you'll learn something because it's actually a tearjerker. Yeah. This young man has been through it, but guess what? He's still the champ. He's so he's standing champ. here. So we love you here. I'm Spotlight over the God city, man. <laughs> you already know, bro. And he loves the Lord. So, so you know, that's yeah, major. Spotlight, that made him family right away. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming on. Okay. I appreciate no you, Tony. And um, Tony. I will see you tomorrow okay. down in Alexandria. I thank you. to see you. And so we got to get out of here. We'll be right back. Spotlight over the city. We have a next guest coming up. And we'll be right back. Right back. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. We 
y'all back. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. Girl, you look good. Yeah, they have to make these coming to give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Spotlight, yes, yes, yes. Sipping it up on here, and yes. they were wonderful products, by the Thank way. You. Thank and they're you. all natural yes. products, by the way. And yes. so, tell us how you got started with this situation, and how did you come up with the name? Cool. So, so Cosmic Juice is um, a cold press juice company um, founded here in Washington D.C. by myself and my mom, We're both D.C. natives. Wow. Um, I started Cosmic Juice last year in 2017. In December, I mean in January 2017. Um, I had some contaminated water, and it oh, wow. sent my liver into failure. So I was oh. diagnosed with acute liver failure. Oh, um, I spent about three months in the hospital um, last year at the top of 2017. Oh. And so I was living in New York. So I moved back home to D.C. Um, just to heal. Um, and so I stopped working and, and focused on my health for about four Ooh. months at my wow. mom's house. And so in that time... Um, in the hospital, I wasn't able to eat or drink any water. My digestive system wasn't working. So when I left the hospital, I was very, very malnutrition. So I, wow. I would drink juice when I was living in New York, and I knew that um, because the fiber is removed from juicing, your mm -hmm. body doesn't have to work to break down the nutrients. So I would be able to easily digest it. So basically, I nursed myself back to health with a lot of rest and then drinking juice, and it made me wow. be able to eat food again. So that's what that gave you it. the notion to say, you know what, I'm going to start a natural product. Yes. So I was doing it as a hobby at first. Um, and then because I wasn't working, I was taking orders from friends and family, and it just mm -hmm. started growing and, and rolling. Um, so I, I started doing it full time. And so now we, we moved from my mom's kitchen. We work, at a, we work out of a commercial kitchen facility in Ivy City, D.C. and Northeast oh, wow. called wow. Union Kitchen. I love it. I love yeah. it. I so love it. I love it. So what's in them? Like, that would look like lemonade over there. This is like too healthy <laughs> for me here over here. This says passionate pineapple. So that was See, that's probably the one I like. Juice. Yeah, that yeah, it's green just one plain like pineapple. <laughs> like it's too healthy it's for good, me. It's good, though. It, this it, one will good. surprise you. It's pineapple, spinach, and mint. And this is, yes, pineapple, spinach, and mint. Yes. Oh wow. And it is really good. Like it does not look you know, like we it see tastes. Something green, you be like. You think it's too healthy? <laughs> too healthy. But when you taste it, it is really good. Like and and to know that you're yeah. drinking something all yeah. natural like this, and it tastes good. That's why I wanted to get her on the show because I want people it, to know about this that's and hot. how they can get it and how it's just really healthy. And I have had it myself. You all, you all know I am a foodie and I'm greedy. Ah, and if it foodie. doesn't taste good, I'm not going to consume <laughs> it. But I love these cosmic juices. Thank and the you. other one is uh, green apple, kale, cucumber, celery, and lemon. Mm. <laughs> it sounds healthy. And then you had like an orange one. You have a, so another good. one too, yeah, right? that one was a, so we have seven flavors. Seven oh, flavors, um, you all. We, we're selling in two grocery stores in the city right now called Union Kitchen Grocery. They carry three of our flavors. Wow. Um, one, the closest location to where we are now is in Shaw neighborhood um, in D.C. on 9th and So End. it hasn't even been a year and you got it in the stores? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. You guys are doing well. Look at that. That's you guys are doing well. Look at God. Right and so yeah, um, are you looking for any investors? We were just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. You know? Taste testers. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> we always need taste testers. That's that's market testing. So yes. that's always welcome. Um, okay. Yeah. So we are, we're trying to um, see how far we can build the company on our own before okay. we... we um, open ourselves up to investors, but we're definitely open to that. Um, gotcha. okay. Coming soon, actually. Okay. Great. Yeah. Do you have any things coming up where you're going to, you know, how, how are you marketing your juices to, to get it more out there for people to know and so right. people can really start, you know, becoming customers? Mm -hmm. So you guys have a website? Do you guys have a landing page, a Facebook page? Like, how do you find your company? Right. So, yes, we have all social media. We have Facebook. Um, Instagram and Twitter and our, our handles are it's Juice Cosmic so it's Cosmic Juice backwards. Gotcha. Um, I like and that. And so like as far as marketing, we're still in like startup mode, so we're doing a lot of demos across the city. Um, we demo like grocery stores, markets, fitness so like pop events, pop-ups, pop-ups exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, on our website, we always post where we're gonna be in the area on on any given day. 
um, when we're doing uh, sort of just selling, vending, and things like that. Perfect. I yeah. think we are we're looking to have at the end of the summer a like a spotlight appreciation like launch thing. Yeah, so we'd love to have you there with your juices. So we're gonna have guests. Yeah. So you have a table set up. Yeah. Set up a table. Have your product. So when we have a date, we'll let you know. Thank you. We want you there. Thank you. Yes. Help at your table. Yes. So so we're gonna bring up our next guest now. But if you wanna give out all of your information before you get off set, everywhere they can find you, any upcoming events, anything like that, you wanna give it out. Yes. So nice and loud in the mic. Sure. So this is Cosmic Juice. Um, you can find us on all social media at Juice Cosmic, and our website is www.juicecosmic.com. Yes, yes, So yes. you guys want to stay healthy. Make sure you do this. A lot of people are falling out these days. You don't have they to be are. old to fall out. You don't have to be fat don't. to be out of shape. You don't have to be a certain age not to be able to get up steps. So now we have to make sure we take care of ourselves, and this young lady's on a great path with her company, so make sure you uh, definitely support Cosmic Juice. We love it. Um, the products are good. And they're healthy, and they're all natural. And they taste good. So you can't beat that. So make sure you guys check her out. And um, great to have one, you. One other Thank question. You People can yes. order your, your juices and, and not have to go into the stores, right? Right. So we do, we do do an online home and office delivery service on Tuesdays and Fridays in the DMV area. Okay. Um, we are, we're starting to phase out of that okay. and just focus on the store channel. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but we are still doing it um, at least for the next few months. So, yes, if you go on juicecosmic.com, you will be able to see that you can order um, through our delivery service every Tuesday and Friday in the D.C. area. So within 10 miles of where we produce, which is in northeast D.C. Perfect. Okay. I have a, uh, someone on here saying that you need to go on Shark Tank. Uh, yes, <laughs> I watch Shark Tank every day. Yes. That's every a good single thing. Day. But yes. see, you have to make sure that you know the percentage that you want to divvy out for your company yeah. and, and leverage it because you know they're going to come for the bigger percentage of that company. Exactly. Well, it's exactly. a great idea. Thank Not you. many people doing it. I'm glad to see you guys are on it because we need that in the community. Yes, yes. we do. And so we, we will be glad so when you have a function. Shine. Me yeah. too. I love it, right? I love, I love it. My love so it. When you guys <laughs> have She's a function. such a beautiful spirit. I love Thank it. You. Yeah. Thank She's you. She's friends with Larissa. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Okay, so that's how they're familiar with yes. this. I, okay, the, it was at the shop. Yes. That, that, that I saw yes. the juice before. Okay, exactly. cool. I know I saw the bottles before you mm-hmm. brought it to the, to the studio. Yep, that's So is there anything, anybody you want to shout out? Any special? Let me ask you something off the beaten path before yes, you go. Yeah, sure, sure. When you get in your car, tell me what you're listening to. Um, I always listen to podcasts. Um, yeah, yeah, I love podcasts. I mean, I listen to a lot of a lot of music. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> but I Podcast, listen to though. a lot of podcasts, especially in the morning, um, just feeding some positive energy into my brain to go throughout the day. Gotcha. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, yeah. so thanks for coming on once again. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. You guys, much. check out Cosmic Juice, and we will be right back right with back. our next guest, Marvelous Beats. Marvelous Beats himself. You guys are in for a big surprise because he yes. is such a talent. So we'll be right back. I spotlight. put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City, everybody. Guess who I have with me right now? Mr. Marvelous Beats. And we are super excited to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. And I want you to start off by telling us how this all came about. Okay. Like, you've, it's very rare. How did this come about? When I, when I was eight years old, I grew up in New York. And my older sister, she started playing the violin first. And um, I thought it was really cool. So I started playing and... I was like, I guess the teacher said I was a natural at it, so I just kept going. And um, I started making beats in high school, like hip hop beats. It wasn't until like college when I combined the two. So hip hop beats and a violin. <laughs> I, I mean, thought, right? right? Who would have thought? And so one of the questions that every all of my friends have been asking me to ask you, of course, is: You performed with Wale? Yeah. You yeah. did. Can yeah. you tell us about that? Yeah. Um. One thing I do when I free time is I perform on the in the parks and the streets around D.C. and Maryland. So I came across Big E, his bodyguard. Shout out to Big E. And, he, uh, yeah, he just, you know, he was like, hey, I think you'd be a good asset to the band. You know, um, I'll hit you up. And he did. And then New Year's Eve on 2017, New Year's Day, I did Wally's and Friends at the Fillmore in Silver Spring. And, you know, the rest is history. I remember that show. I wasn't there, but a lot of my friends was there. Oh, okay. And you're performing this weekend, right? Yeah, yeah, performance weekend. Um, we see you got Broccoli Fest coming up. I, I'm also going to be at the Haitian Embassy performing there. 
and um, Airbnb experience at Arts Group uh, Studio in Temple Hills, Maryland. And uh, yeah. yeah, if you want to see and the Broccoli Fest, yeah, Broccoli Fest, you know, light show, the rapper, um, will be with uh, Control Chaos, the band, uh, performing there. So you'll see us. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna give y'all a treat. I'm gonna I'm gonna sing while he plays. No, I'm joking. He's gonna play, and we're going to we're going to watch and enjoy. No, because you tried to clown me. You tried to clown me, and no. So no, I'm not gonna do that. But when you do need some vocals on one of your tracks, please call okay. me. You know where to find me. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. don't listen to my husband.
wedding. I saw that comment. You I'm saw that, right? Yes. Small world. Who was small it? Small world. One of the attorneys <laughs> at Arnold and Porter Whitney. She's wow. A, she's one of my friends, and um, she told me that he performed. He uh, performed at her wedding. So you all over. Small the world. And somebody hit me up and said. <laughs> yes, you're going to get all of that. Make sure you guys stay tuned in because this is something else. This is a talent. So you don't get to see this much, as you all know. You don't get to see a person with a violin, first of all. Not black people. We don't really get into violins and hip-hop. That doesn't mix. Violins and hip-hop doesn't blend. But guess what? It's a wonderful thing, right? I like to see that. I like to see the talent. So you guys got any questions? I'm going to let y'all have it. Look at that shirt. Look. Look at that. He said he wanted to show his shirt. That's right. Show your That's shirt. Right. Show what it is. That's right. You, do you sell your apparel? Do you sell it? Um, It's coming soon. I'm dropping them this summer. Okay, gotcha. perfect. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, so you guys can get it. <laughs> I got a question. Shout out to Sunny's World, too, in the building. Sunny's up Sunny. next. Sunny's World up next. Lyric has a question. Let's go, Lyric. What you got? Look, I saw that you started at age eight with yeah, the violin. I started, yeah, okay, yeah. Wow. age eight. My daughter was about that age when I tried to get the violin in her hand, and this one told me, you should have her do the viola because she can, it's viola. Right, yeah, viola, right? too, viola, viola, and you got the big right. trello. Yeah. So, <laughs> my question to you, because she was like, nah, I'm not doing that. That's corny. That's whack. So, <laughs> being a guy, and you chose that instrument, everybody else playing football, they doing, you I know. I play football, too. So, <laughs> nobody <laughs> said. So, so it's a mix. Some violin. people didn't even know I played the violin because I did so much. I was in theater. I was in art. I was in orchestra. Oh, okay. I took AP wow. classes in high school. Some people didn't even know I played. Some of my closest friends are like, I didn't know you played the violin like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm 25 years old. Some of my friends from high school are like, yo, I didn't know you played it like that. But yeah. I and was in orchestra in high like school. like that, too. <laughs> I, was in, I was in, you know, all cities and stuff like that. But it was just overshadowed because I did so much other things. You know what I'm saying? So. You know. Got you, got you. <laughs> so okay. were you at like a performing arts school? Not even. I mean, I was at New Shaw High School in New York. Um, it's in Westchester County. It's kind of like the Silver Spring of New York. Yeah, got you. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So um, New Shaw High School is huge. Um, Ray Rice went to the high school and stuff. So it's like a big oh, football yeah? school. You know what I'm saying? So so what got um, you to Maryland from, from New York? I came out here for architecture. I got an architecture degree at University of D.C. And, um, wow. Isn't this amazing? Like, it's just all this stuff. Yeah, you got a lot going on, man. Yes. You are yeah. Well-rounded. Right. Very well, well-rounded. Yeah. Very much so. It was cool. I mean, <laughs> I only did it because that's the only thing I could like, stay focused on in school. And it had to <laughs> combine art and science, which I liked yes. a lot. Yeah. And I don't really like math, but I was good at math for whatever reason. So. Have you ever tried to play the violin to the D.C. go-go beat? Of course, oh. yeah, yeah. Of course, we're I would play, love you know, to hear that. That, 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 that would be lit. So yeah, yeah. That would be <laughs> super lit. I would like to hear that. I would love that. You can definitely do that. So, um, yeah, man, that is amazing. So, you gonna give us another performance before you get out of here? Because we gotta get ready to rock out. Sunny's world is up next. Yeah. So we're gonna broccoli fest. Yeah. So make sure you guys come out. You perform Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday at one o'clock is the last show set. Oh, that's yeah, the last set. Show, yeah. Seven o'clock. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. His, his is the. It's a long. Day. It's a whole. It's a yeah, long, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And shout out to everybody yeah. at that broccoli. That whole broccoli fest. That's gonna be hot, man. We doing yeah. DC is lit. So you know have that. any <laughs> other things coming up that you want people to oh, know about man, so they can support a you? Ton. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Um, Let's lay it out there. Remember, so, like I said, the Haitian. Um, at the, I'll be performing after broccoli fest at the Haitian Embassy. Then again, that um, uh, art spots, art art group studio in Temple Hills, Maryland, for their Airbnb experience. Oh. Um, basically, the best thing for you to do is go to Marfee's. This is Mike up. And go to. Uh, this sorry, is Mike. Oh, I got to talk about There you go. Yeah, yeah. go close. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Best thing for you to do is go to um, marfbeast.com and go to the shows tab, and that's mm-hmm. where I always put everything. So I I perform in New York. Philly, Baltimore, DC. So just, just you know, Google y'all get that. Yeah, just Google it. Yeah. So make sure you guys Google this young man. M A R V as in Victor. B E A T S. So com. he's getting ready to Marvel take us out with another com. performance because yeah, uh, up next is Sonny's World. We're going to get him to the stage. We'll be right back. We're going to get get my Matter of fact, we ain't got to cut to it. You want to get over here? Yeah, let's let's go it. right let's to it. Let's, let's get to let's it. Let's do it. Let's get my cameras ready. Spotlight. I'm going to hold yours. I'm going to take yours. So I can do the happy feet. So I can lock it. Lock it. And I'm going to do the happy feet. Y'all got a go go beat that he can put on? Y'all can put on? Look, Terry. N- not right now. We already got technical difficulties with the music. So don't try nothing. Don't try don't nothing. Try nothing on the way out. <laughs> you okay. try and get too fancy. Okay.